I'm Llewellyn Falco, and I'm the creator of Approval Test. And today we're going to start a whole video series to take you through using Approval Test, and in this case, in .NET. So for today's episode, we're going to start with MS Test. You can see here that I have just a very simple solution for MS Test getting started. And the first thing I need to do is add Approval Test to it. So to do that, I'm just going to go to New Bit and do a search for approval test. You can see it here. I'm just going to say install. And close. And all that does is add two files here, approvals, utilities, and approval tests. Approval test is needed for the test, but approval utilities is also needed. It also includes many things that you might want to put in your actual production code. We'll talk about that in a later series. So other than that, you're just using the normal MS test framework. You can see here, I go here. And normally what you would do is you'd say, assert r equal, you know, one is one. And if we were to run that, normally what we do here is we just say, assert r equals one equals one. And if we were to run that, you can see it passes nicely. Approval tests are very similar to this. It uses the same idea, but instead of assert, you're going to say approvals.verify. And this is where we verify a string. So hello world. Well, Welcome to approval tests. And running this in and of itself will leave a nice failure, but to make this a little more useful, I'm going to start with a use reporter of a diff reporter. Again, we'll talk about reporters a lot more in the upcoming series. Now when I run this, this uses the golden master paradigm where you have a master which is empty right now because you've never done anything and you have a result in this case hello world welcome to approval test it's going to fail until these two things match so once i see this and i like it i'll just simply say use this whole file and now when i run my tests it will pass if I ever change anything and I run it again, it will fail in the same golden master paradigm, but now with what I had previously said was okay and what has changed since I said it was okay. Again, I then have the chance of either reverting it or re-approving it to say this new version is now the correct version. One more thing to point out is in your library, if you were to do a refresh and a show all, you will see these files, the approval and the received files sitting here, following the pattern of the name of the class, the name of the method, approved.txt, name of class, name of the method, received.txt. This is because we have not run it since it has passed, or since we have, or the last time we ran it, it failed. Having reapproved it, if I go back to the solution and refresh, you will see that only the approved file exists. You will need to check this approved file into your source control. You should never be checking receive files into your source control. So I hope that helped to get started with MS Test. We're going to have a lot of these series in very small chunks coming down on a daily basis. Uh, before I end, though, I want to talk about a contributor. Uh, and here, really, contributor is not even the right word. This is the person who helped create it with me, Dan Gilkerson. Um, we have a shared love of food, though I think this originally came over a bowl of pho. So uh, you can hit him up on Twitter there. And a lot of the stuff that you see here was actually created with him in a pairing session, or actually several pairing sessions. Again, if you have any questions about approval tests, if you tweet with the hash approval tests, I will answer those in a very rapid fashion.
Thank you very much.